hey everyone welcome back to another video this is my first video of 2024 happy new year to all of you i hope that you guys had a great holiday season i am feeling super rested i had a week vacation in miami we are back home we spent new year's eve here just my husband and the girls so it was a pretty different new year's eve for us but i loved it it was just really cozy and just us together as a family and i am just ready to start filming content getting back to it i took a break and now i'm just like recharged so i hope that you guys are feeling the same with me being gone towards the end of december i was not able to film an update for the second half of december so i figured i would kind of give you guys a quick update before i changed the tray out so with that said i didn't even say what we were doing today but the title should let you guys know that this is going to be my January perfume tray. So I am going to be switching out the perfumes that I used in December and I'm going to be adding new perfumes for January. So if you are new here, I do these trays monthly and this just helps me rotate my collection and give perfumes use in my collection because sometimes when I look at all of them sometimes I tend to go to like the same one so this ensures that I am using the fragrances that I have in my collection and getting rid of the ones that I'm just not reaching for or not feeling so every month it's just a combination of decluttering or falling in love with fragrances giving them use making some dents in those bottles so for December I did update you guys on I believe the bottom half of the tray. Let's just do a quick update for Italica, which is from Serge Off. Wore it last night. I am in love with this fragrance. This is so gourmand, so delicious, so expensive smelling at the same time. It's not your typical gourmand where it's like super duper sweet and there's nothing else to it. This has, it's complex. It's very rich and thick and has like a sexiness to it very creamy and sweet and still has depth to it i only wore it a couple times so i do want to wear some more but so far i am in love with this one blanche bet i am not sure how i'm feeling about this i have kind of like a love-hate relationship with this one going on when i first got it i really really loved how it was like powdery a little creamy smooth it kind of reminded me of like a cloud or something just very very easy to wear also like tonic as well but i feel like as it has been sitting that tuberose is coming through a little bit more than i would like so this one's not going to be decluttered as of right now but i will say this was not one of my favorites of the tray i need to wear it somewhere i need to see how i feel about it but it's definitely not an all-time favorite i would say this is a very strong like but it's not a love just because the florals i believe is a two rose it's getting a little strong so i wish it didn't have that note and then it would just be perfect but we're gonna keep working with this one i also wore pink me up i wore this one a couple times i was planning on wearing this one as my new year's eve scent but then we ended up coming home earlier because we wanted to rest since we did drive it was like 16 hours if i would have been somewhere like dressed up for new year's i would have took this with me but i didn't but i did wear it a couple times throughout the month and i do really love it it's very very feminine flirty very cute for like a birthday party a birthday dinner going out with girlfriends it's just a very flirty, girly scent, and it pairs really, really beautifully with Bath & Body Works' You're the One. It's that type of scent. It has like a rose for sure, and it has like a kind of champagne vibe to it, which I don't really go for, but I really do enjoy this scent. Lalique Soleil, there is already a small, tiny dent on here because I am so happy to have this back in my collection. I am loving it. One of my favorites this month it just smells so chic very unique there's like nothing in my collection that smells like this perfume there's cardamom in here i believe there's coffee but it's not a strong coffee at all to me it's like a bright little spicy cardamom just bright scent it smells so good and girly and it's almost hard for me to describe this one but it's a favorite for sure and the bottle is just so beautiful to look at as well so this one was a total love this month. La Via Bell. This is the Intense, I believe. This one was limited edition, but this has a note of hazelnut in it. I did wear this one a couple times as well. Very warm, rich. It is like La Via Bell, but 
a gourmand type of Livia Bell. It just has a little bit more gourmand notes in here. I believe there's also whipped cream, if I'm not mistaken. So this one is definitely sweet, nutty. There's vanilla in here. Really, really nice. I love this one and it's a shame that this one is no longer being sold. Well, you can find it eBay, Mercari. I just think that it's getting a little harder to find it now. But yeah, this is one of my favorite La Via Bell flankers. Next we have Tiziana Terenzi Andromeda. I think I only wore this one once. So I didn't really get to play with this one as much as I wanted to this month. But this is a very nice, fruity, elevated, sophisticated, chic type of fragrance as well very nice for like i don't know why i picture like shopping having a lunch with girlfriends or even going out on a date as well for sure in the evening it just smells very nice and flirty very very feminine there's fruits in here but it's not too juvenile at all it's like a grown up fruity type of scent. So this one I do need to wear some more because I didn't get to wear it as much as I wanted to this month. All right, so that's pretty much my quick little update. I wish I could have gone more in depth with those, but I need to catch up with like the rest of the content that I have planned. So we're just gonna start fresh for New Year's. I'm going to take all of these perfume bottles out and we're going to put some new perfumes for the month of January. Alright, so I cleaned out my space, took out the fragrances. Now we're going to start adding the fragrances for January. So these first two fragrances, I just want to make up my mind about these. I feel like these two are very similar. I'm not sure if it's worth keeping both in my collection. So I want to wear them this month to see which one I enjoy more. If I want to keep both, if I want to get rid of one. So the first one is going to be Killian Love Don't Be Shy, which... I have been liking more and more with time, so I do want to wear this one some more. Very sweet, kind of like candy type of fragrance. So I do want to wear this one, but I did notice that Memo Pari Sintra is so similar to Love Don't Be Shy, but they also do have differences from each other. So I do want to wear these two a lot this month. I want to get to know both of them much better and see if they're both worth keeping together in my collection or if I just need one of the two. So in the comment section, let me know which one you prefer, Love Don't Be Shy or Sintra. Next one, I'm going to be adding Zara's Red Temptation because I have not used this one in a while. And I do remember this one performing so amazing, like 12 plus hours on me and this is the dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540 so I haven't really been hearing too many people talk about it the hype has kind of died down a little bit but I'm kind of craving this scent again so I'm going to be using my Zara Red Temptation next up is one that I have used for New Year's for that type of like holiday festive type of evening and I have not picked it up in a while so this is Prada La Femme I love this bottle so so much and I haven't talked about it in a really long time so I thought it was time to bring it back out this is like a very classy scent and the way that it opens up is so different to the way that it dries down the dry down is so good there's a sweetness to it I believe there's honey in here something like that but it just adds a very very nice sweet touch to a white floral more classic fragrance but it definitely has a sweet spin to it as well next one, i'm going to be adding a juliana's perfume and this is call me by your name i talked about this one in my winter fragrances that i was excited for this is a gourmand chocolate sweet scent and it is the dupe for something cooking i have not filmed in a long time so my mind is like i'm just having brain farts but i'm gonna put a picture of what this is supposed to be a dupe of but this smells amazing so i cannot wait to wear this next up i'm going to put another killian fragrance that i have not picked up in a long time and this is killian rolling in love this is almondy sweet a little powdery almost has like a cherry vibe to it but in the best soft smooth way i have not worn it in a long time so i cannot wait to wear it in january next up i'm going to be adding my givenchy live irresistible delicioso so this fragrance is 
probably going to be the sweetest fragrance on the tray. I don't know, this fragrance is very, I need to be in the mood for this. Like there is days that this might be way too much, but this has cherry in it, which is done in such a beautiful way. It's not a medicinal cherry. It smells like a dessert. It smells super gourmand, super sweet. It's thick. It almost has like a pastry vibe to it. The cherry is in there, very bright and just very present. So we're gonna put it on the tray and I'm gonna see how much I actually use of this one. But this is literally like for me, two to three sprays or I will get a headache of how sweet this perfume is. Next up, I'm going to be adding Mind Games Double Attack, which I showed in, I believe was a mini haul that I did. And this is a chocolate scent. It's not overly sweet. I'm very excited to wear it some more. There is like some spice in here, super duper unique. And I'm very impressed with this house recently. I've been trying out some samples that I have and their fragrances are very, very unique, very different. Each one offers something totally different and I am loving it so far. Next up, I'm going to be adding Plume Impression Pop Heart to my Perfume tray, this is a beautiful strawberry caramel. It's gourmand, yet it still smells expensive and sophisticated, super high quality, very like thick and intoxicating. So I cannot wait to start wearing this fragrance. Next up, I'm going to add a Swiss Arabian fragrance and this is Shagaf Oud Amar. This is the prettiest fruity best like shampoo conditioner expensive luxurious fruity type of scent so so good i cannot wait to wear this one as well i hauled it during thanksgiving time frame it was sent over to me and i am so happy to have it on the tray because my first impressions of this one was just i fell in love with it next up i want to add some more sweetness i'm going to be adding one of my favorite celebrity fragrances this is ari by ariana grande sweet marshmallow raspberry puffball that's just what this smells like it smells so irresistibly sweet and delicious flirty i love it so so much next up i'm going to add two for like my casual days running errands and i just want to throw something on really quickly i'm going to be adding my glossier you i have not worn this one in a good minute this is just like a, it has a little bit of like a peppery touch to me so some days it stands out a little bit more than others, but it's a great one to just throw on. It smells really, really good and just musky and skin-like, but smells really great. Great for everyday wear. And then next up, I'm going to be adding Clean Reserve Skin, which is another skin musky scent, but this one has warmth to it. There is, I believe, suede or leather in here along with praline. So there is like a sweet warmth in this one and every time i wear this one i just i love it so much so i cannot wait to give this one some more use next up i am in the mood for my mon guerlain fragrances so i am going to be adding mon guerlain floral to my tray which is just a more floral version of mon guerlain more feminine a little more flirty just more like girly smelling so I believe this one has been discontinued, but this is my favorite flanker. And then I'm going to be adding my favorite dupe of Mon Guerlain. It's very affordable. And this is Guest Seductive Noir. I think I like this one better than the original Mon Guerlain, but I don't know. There's just something about this one I really, really enjoy. And it's just very sexy and it's a compliment getter for sure. Next up, I'm going to be adding Choco Musk again to my tray, which I did get a dent the last time I had it on my tray, but I do have the Bath and Body Works Coke, is it hot cocoa and cream or something like that? The little body mist. So I do want to do some chocolate layering combos. So I want to add this one to my tray again. I'm also going to be adding Kayali's Vanilla 28 because I have not worn this one in a while as well. It's one of my favorite fragrances. So I'm super excited to wear it in January. Next up, I'm going to be adding my latest Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. And this is Deluxe. This smells so, so good. Now I am one of those people who I do overspray, but not every single time. And with this one, I cannot overspray because then it just gets like unbearable for me. But one to two sprays of this and the dry down is amazing. It's like a step up from Gentle Fluidity Gold. It's a little stronger and more intense than that, but in the same family. So it has honey in it. There's rose. 
I believe there is coffee as well, vanilla. It's just a very beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Next up, I'm going to be adding my Poison Girl EDP again. This one has been uh, featured a lot lately, but I love this one for winter time. So I do want to wear it some more before winter is over. So that's another one I'm adding to the tray. And now I have two small ones that I want to add to the tray and we are all done. So I do want to wear my lancome i believe this is Idol. is it intense i don't remember the exact name of this but this is one of the very few rose i believe it has patchouli that type of dna that actually works for me because i'm very very picky with that type of scent dna and in this one it's really really nice so i haven't picked this one up in probably like a year so yeah i'm going to be wearing this one very soon and then for the last fragrance i'm going to be adding this tiny little bottle of kayali's deja vu white flower 57 can't really read it but this one i bought a while ago and i have not been wearing it and i noticed that i got rid of a lot of my scandal fragrances i have another one the last one that i'm thinking about getting rid of because my nose just for some reason does not enjoy those anymore but this kind of has that same scent dna and i actually enjoy this one so i want to use this and see if i would like to bring in a full size of this one into my collection but yeah i definitely want to wear this one some more so that is my perfume tray for the month of january very icy very feminine a little bit of gourmand we have some chocolate some sweetness a lot of sexiness i really do like the variety in this one so let me know what you guys think if there's any on this tray that you really love thank you so much for being here with me and that's going to be it for me today give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that we can hang out in future videos and with that said i will see you guys in the next one Bye.